getting started. Today we're taking a look at Electron's V-Box Level 2 Charger. What makes this better than all the other options out in the market? What are some of the big features? Here's a list of some of the cool aspects of this product itself. But in this video, we're gonna do an unboxing and install and just a quick overview of how this works and maybe why this is a good option for you from a price perspective, from an aesthetics perspective, but also from a functionality perspective. So let's dive right in and start the unboxing. All right, so let's unbox this uh, Electron V-Box 48 amp EV charging station. I am excited about this. So I have been a big fan of Wallbox. I've had my Wallbox basically since I bought my EV6. They had really good customer service. I had an issue with the first one I got and they actually just ended up sending me a replacement. No questions asked. I will be fully transparent. I actually don't really use a lot of the Wi-Fi features that come with the Wallbox or anything like that. I actually just plug my car and charge it, leave it. I never check it. The only thing I'll do sometimes is stop charging overnight sometimes on my EV6 using the Kia Access app. So I actually don't utilize a lot of the smart features, but I know there are people that do, um, and there are people that also monitor the usage. So let's pull this out. I do think this kit looks awesome. It's kind of jammed in there, so let me take some of this stuff out. Put this against the wall, and drill the holes. It is a really cool looking unit. <laughs> it looks like Wally. -E. The V-Box has a hardware connection to charge up 48 amps. Refer to the V-Box user manual. Amperage adjustment page three, hardwire connection page nine. I'm not gonna take everything out of the box. I think it's pretty self-explanatory what this includes, but I will show you what's in here. A very long cable. Oh no, I think this is the cable hook. It comes with a really nice cable hook. Or like a reel. This is really nice. The packaging is really premium. Everything just feels really nice. Looks like hardware. And uh, the wall mount for the plug. Again, very premium wrapped. All the hardware actually looks quality. It doesn't look like really, really cheap stuff. Yeah, there it is. It's a really nice unit. Um, it's a really cool, simple little piece and it's got a little display on it from what I can tell based on the image up here. So yeah, you, it'll tell you the voltage and everything it's doing when it's charging. So let us get this into the garage, install it. We'll do an install video and then we'll test it. Today we are going to install the uh, Electron V-Box 48 amp charging station. So let's take everything out and lay it out and we'll go from there. Basically what you're supposed to do is this plate is actually not supposed to be mounted. I think when they sent it to me for some reason it was already mounted. So under these two screws on each side, take this plate off. This plate's template for the screws matches what's on this sheet of paper. So I'm going to put this on the wall exactly where I want to mount it. And then I'm going to put this plate on the wall with the hardware that's included. And then these screws will come back into the brackets on the plate itself. So this will make a lot of sense when I take this off. I'm just going to throw this against the wall, mark the holes, and get those thin. So let's get that done. So I think I'm going to mount this right here. It'll be actually charged back here, so it'll be closer to the car itself. Pretty level. X. Oh, that's supposed to go. X. X. Okay, so then you take the anchors since I don't have studs back here. Pull out the four screws. four screws, line this up, it actually goes inside. This is the cable hanger, which I might actually put right here. Yeah, perfect. Anybody who's like, well, you have so much clutter, it is getting relocated. So same thing with the studs, or sorry, anchors. Screws, snap my fingers, it'll be done. So wow, it's done. Uh, make sure you put this side, the one that has like a little notch, it's kind of a slope at the top because that's what it clips into. And whoop, finished. Okay, here's one of the best parts about this. 
taking that sweet, sweet screen off. Oh yeah, by the way, it does say the default amperage is 40 amps, which is what mine is. It's set to 40 amps. I don't have 48 amps. So if you do, then make sure you kind of follow these directions, the amperage adjustment, which I'll show you, the hardware connection. So it's a little confusing because in the instructions it said it's been set to 48 amps, but then this sticker says the default is 40 amps. So in order to change it, there's a dial behind the unit itself and you actually just need to rotate the little uh, arrow to point to which one. So I need it to be a three. So this says it was supposed to be a three already. This says it's at four. I don't know which one it is. So I think I need to take this off real quick. Check the back. So let's do that. Here's the back of the box that they told me to take off. Tiny little screws. So it looks like it is set to three. So the sticker is actually accurate. I would double check it just before you put everything together, but it looks like the sticker is actually accurate. It is set to 40 amps, but I would, if you're installing this, just triple check it. All right, so the power button is right there. So we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. My NEMA right here. Power button. Nice, look at this beautiful display. So that's the remnants from my sweaty arm when I was holding it, so I apologize, it's gross. Uh, so this is really cool. It'll actually show you a lot more information than what I get on my wall box, which I think this is what I was referring to is, this is great, the app is great, barely ever use it. This kind of shows me real time what's gonna be happening. Okay, so since our last visit, I have cleaned this area up a little bit. So I've been using the Electron for probably about a month, month and a half now. And uh, it's just so easy, super fast. So let's test it out real quick. So I usually leave it off, but you can just leave it on if you want. I just power it up. It shows a little bit of information, kind of shines blue. Let's plug this in. And I love how fast this actually connects and starts charging. So listen. Charging started. There you go. So let's see what speeds I'm getting in the car. I'm getting 9.6 kilowatts. In comparison, let's plug up my wall box and see how much longer it takes to initiate. Okay, so got the wall box started up. Started. So just a few more seconds. Now it's not a big deal. You're gonna plug it up and leave, but just wanted to show the comparison. The other thing I noticed is how thick this cable is compared to what comes with a wall box. Okay, so now that we've actually done the install, the unbox, the review, quick review, I should say, of the Electron 48 amp V box, would I recommend it? So. I think as a product, it's actually a really, really good product. It looks great. It shows you pretty cool information on the top and it's really easy to install and it's super fast how it connects to the car. I think where the shortcoming is, is the price. Since Electron launched this, there's been a lot of competitors that have come in and started really undercutting the price. So for example, we have Emporia that's come out with a smart charger that's a little bit less than what this Electron costs, as well as Autel, I believe is how you say it. And both of those offer very compelling features for a little bit less, but also have that smart control. So now if somebody like me, I trust Lectron, I've actually used quite a bit of their products and I'll review some of the other ones as well. So to me, there's a little bit of a brand loyalty there on top of the fact that I know that they started with like UL certification. So they've always been a higher quality company versus just let's just get something in the market and see how it sticks and safety wasn't really that big of a concern. So I do like that part about Electron, which is kind of why I continue supporting them. I did give them feedback that the price point needs to be a little bit more aggressive, but also they need a smart option. Even somebody like me who uses none of the smart features. In fact, I think my last like login to my wall box was right when I got it. I've never actually gone back in. Now I'm not 
a normal user. Some people might actually use a lot of the wireless or the smart features. I just don't. I just plug my car in, charges, stops at 100% or 80%, and I'm done. So I just don't really pay attention otherwise. So if you're looking for a smart option, obviously this is not a, an option for you. If you don't really need that, I do think there are some competitors that are going to maybe you're going to lean towards because of the price point, but just know that Electron is a very, very solid brand and they've always put safety first and uh, quality as well. So this is a really good option. As I mentioned, I did uh, give some feedback to Electron and I told them that, hey, price needs to be a little bit more aggressive and they need a product that has smart features, both of which they said they are looking at and hopefully will be coming out with something uh, in the future. And, but in the meantime, check out Electron's Amazon store. Really, really cool stuff. I put the links for this charger and some of the other accessories that I'm going to be reviewing from Electron uh, down below in the description. But that's kind of what my thought process is on this Electron charger. If you want a cool looking one, go get it because it is fast, it's simple, and it's, it looks really nice in your garage too. So uh, if that's not a priority, there could be some other options that you could lean towards, but I love this one. So. Thanks, everybody. Uh, see you next time. Bye.